TMJ is the abbreviation for the temporomandibular joint, where the lower jaw hinges to the skull. Problems with this joint are called temporomandibular joint disorders, or just TMDs. If we look at the anatomy of this joint, we can get a better idea of how this joint has to function. You'll notice that the back of the cartilage is thicker than the central region. That back portion, which is actually tied into the ligaments to help hold this cartilage in place, serves as a biomechanical lock to help hold the cartilage in place as the ball moves within the socket. Here you see an example of the joint opening and closing. Please notice that thick back region of the cartilage. That biomechanical lock is important because that's really what helps keep this cartilage in its proper place. In a normal healthy joint, the ball is always pushing forward against the socket itself. I'm now going to show you a joint that's dislocated. You'll see that the cartilage stays between the ball and the socket. Then as the ball starts to move back up in the socket, all of a sudden it goes too far back and it pushes the cartilage out of place. That's when this joint has become dislocated. TMD can cause severe pain, making it difficult to eat, speak, or use the jaw normally. The jaw may also become locked in the open or closed position. Slowly open your mouth. Yes. One more. Open, open. Yes, very good. Once the area to be needled has been located, the needle should be angled at an oblique cordat angle towards the temporalis fossa. your jaw now or let your head fold down we're gonna get on your external pterygoid here let your oh. head fall all yeah you feel it already so we're just gonna go one oh. yep two and three oh. and relax are you okay ah. breathe in deep breathe in and out but what I do have are a very particular set of skills skills I've acquired over a very long career skills that make me a nightmare